Hey guys, what's up? This is Hunter Nelson with Tortoise and Hare Software, and today we're going to be going over a quick tip to combat contact form spam. So, what is contact form spam? Uh, let's just do a quick overview of what a spam visit might look like. We're going to type in your URL and hit your home page here, and then come straight to your contact form and submit their information. And this is a tactic they use for outbound uh, reach for appointment setting or selling various services. So they'll just send you a sales pitch through your contact form, which can be kind of annoying when you come in on Monday hoping that you've got a new lead in your inbox and you find that it's a spammer um, from offshore or something just uh, sending you another sales pitch. Um, and I found a quick you know, way to cut down at least on the contact form spam is to uh, disable the paste on that uh, contact form because you know spammers are pretty lazy uh, they're just playing the numbers game so if you present them with any sort of difficulty they're gonna you know just go on to the next site so I'm gonna quickly enable snippet here that I disabled and refresh contact page and then I'm going to try to submit that same message that I submitted on that previous contact form and now I'm hitting control V and I'm unable to paste into this field I'm also unable to um, right click in the field and hit paste if I uh, quickly read is it, or If I uh, come back here, you can see if I right click on this field, you can uh, paste. So there's really two two methods to paste. There's the control V in the field and the right click paste in the field. Um, so what I did was load, wrote a little JavaScript, and we'll go through that here in just a second to disable those functions. Um, but they prevent the field from being manually control V pasted in or right click pasted in, um, which is a good way to deter spammers from uh, blowing up your inbox here. Um, so I'm going to come back to this blog post that I wrote. Uh, and if you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend it. It goes through some of this in a little bit more detail. Um, and right now it's the most current post on my blog, but the URL is contact-form-spam at the end. Um, so I've posted the co code here on GitHub and it will need to be uh, customized slightly for your particular use case um, but if we come through the code here we can see that uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use jQuery to hook into an event that uh, is going to load at the completion of your uh, page load or in certain cases in the after your form has loaded for instance, I use Ninja Forms as the forms uh, on my WordPress site, and there's a specific event called NF Form Ready that I've hooked into on my particular site. Uh, if you're using just plain HTML, you're probably going to want to hook into the document on Ready event, um, but you'll have to tinker a little bit uh, with it. I'd start with document on Ready um, and then work from there. Uh, but basically, you want to hook into the appropriate event and you want to use jQuery again to disable your keyboard paste using a form field selector and also bind into the context menu um, click event and prevent that so we're disabling the paste with the by hooking into the cut copy paste events and we're also disabling the context menu um, event in jQuery um, now, just real quick on selecting your form field selector, you're going to want to select the text areas in your form. So if I come back to my form here, the quickest way to do this is to right click in a text area and the text area is usually going to be the long form uh, field on your form where people want to actually type in their message and this is usually going to be the one that you're going to get the most bang for your buck um, by blocking spammers in because 
you know, they may copy the name, email, or phone, but what they're really trying to get in is their message. Um, so if, if your text area is um, enabled, you can right click and hit inspect. I'm using Chrome, um, and there's other ways to inspect elements in other browsers, uh, but I won't go over that here. And I, you can look at your field here and see that this has a particular ID. Um, there's also classes that might identify this particular field, but you just want to um, use a selective enough selector. I highly recommend not using just text area or form text area, but worst case scenario you can. Um, but you want to try and get as specific as possible um, in disabling the uh, particular field that you want to block the paste in. So we'll come back to GitHub here. And this code snip, this link to this uh, GitHub code is linked in the blog post. And uh, if you go to tortoiseandhairsoftware.com, uh, you can find the blog post there. Um, but once you've determined your selector, um, again, that will go in this field that has the your field, your form field select selector. Um, I have some a very general one. Again, I don't recommend using this, but in a pinch, you can start with. Um, form text area and that will just disable text areas on all the forms in your website um, you generally you want to identify either the specific form or tag all the fields that you want to disable them with a class and you can work with a developer to do that um, for instance I've gone and uh, for the ninja forms one I there's a class called NF form wrap that's added on all the ninja forms based forms and I note that I only have two forms on my site right now and uh, so I'm just disabling text areas on both of those. So again just to review you want to hook into the appropriate event and then disable the pastes with the appropriate uh, CSS selector and that's how you can combat contact form spam by blocking paste on your particular forms. Um, if you have any questions, uh, reach out to us at tortoiseandhairsoftware.com and we'll see what we can do to help you out. Alright, thank you.